What's up you guys, it's your boy Vin, and today we're back with another ink review. In today's video, I will be reviewing Mont Blanc's Burgundy Red Ink, and just take into consideration the beauty of this fountain pen bottle. Could you imagine just putting this on your desk at work, or at home, you already look sophisticated, you already look like you're gonna become the CEO in a few years. So the reason why this ink bottle is shaped this way is because you know on some fountain pen bottles, when you're running out of ink, you're sticking the nib down into the bottle, but there's so little ink left that you can't get any ink up. Well, this allows you to bring the ink from the back of the pen into the front when you're running low to get as much ink in your pen as possible. So as you can see here, the ink will flow into this region here. So this is the beautiful ink bottle it comes in, beautiful glass bottle, and it does offer a plastic cap, but and it does have the signature Mont Blanc emblem on the top. So now I'm gonna show you the writing sample I did with this beautiful burgundy red ink in the next scene coming up. This is a little writing sample I did, and I did do this with the Jin Hao X750. Yes, this is the last video I did, so please check that out. I also did the Pilot Metropolitan, but as you guys remembered, if you watched the last video, I snapped the nib on that during the writing sample. So guys, this is the uh, Mont Blanc Burgundy Red Ink, and it comes in a 60 milliliter bottle. It runs you around $19 on Amazon. I hope the price is still the same, but I'll leave the links down in the description below so you guys can pick that up. As I said, I wrote with the Jinha X750, which had a broad Goulet nib on there. We did write on Rodia's number 16 80 gram dot pad. So I did a little smudge test over here on the left. This will show you when you're writing, how long typically it'll take to dry fully. And for me, it took 35 seconds to fully dry. Moving on to the right, we have the water resistance test. So as you can see, the Mont Blanc Burgundy Red Ink does offer some water resistance. If you spill something, water, coffee, whatever you're doing at work, you're like, oh shit, there goes all my work. No guys, guess what? You can still make out what you wrote. Unlike, if you remember, my Robert Austin Fire and Ink review with the water test we did for that, as you can see here, it almost completely wipes out what you wrote. Here you can still make out what you wrote underneath that. So down here I just did a total, like a total of what I did above. The dry time was 35 seconds. For the wetness of this ink, I will say it's a medium to a wet. I wouldn't say it's like a gushing wet ink, but I would say it is a medium. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.